that's um, yeah, Asterix, who's over in Aussie. He was another integral um, part of the music body as well. Um, Paul Eisler. And, oh, yeah, that's just um, yeah, a singer with the band. And, yeah, just the different... Yeah, these are old photos I had to... Um, and this is when we were in Africa, Ethiopia. We sent uh, 49 people to, um, to Africa, 12, which were the executive bench, 12 brothers, 12 sisters, and, uh, sorry, 25 people, sorry, and also the, um, um, Joseph's second went over as well. So we went there over to um, Jamaica, um, over to um, Ethiopia, to our headquarters in Shashamani that we were um, building um, each um, and we went there because we're um, Selassie I under the Sigamore tree that was, you know, that this land would be for 12 tribe of Israel. So we went over there to witness that and that was part of our um, blueprint, if you like, um, for us to do as part of the organisation. Um, and the uh, thing is that too, which was interesting, I got the guns pulled on me one evening because you have curfew, you see, for, you know, and the reason why I got the guns pulled on me was I was out, you know, after nine o'clock, and, but uh, they thought I was Ethiopian. And it's true, we mm. do, they do look like us. The shoes here, yeah, the brown people are here. And they have tattoos as well, their, their own walkers along around, so, and, um, you know, and I had to really get my passports and get someone to get it to show them that, you know, <coughs> you know, I wasn't from, I am, yeah, but, you know, I wasn't an Ethiopian, so yeah, I found that that quite in, in, um, really interesting. Also, the you know they have tikkunna like us, you know, like you know, protocols or how the, how they do things. Now that was one thing that Bob, you know, said when I was talking to him. He said that you know the the porphyry that he got here when he arrived here was just like he, he it was like he connected spiritually, intellectually, and physically. To um, to the um, mainly the his wider one, and and that's what we are, because um, Rasta is not just for black people, and for brown people. Rasta is black, brown, and white. Okay, if you read the Bible, there were three. There's no pink people, and there's no yellow people. If you can tell me there's one, then you can show me then, you know. But there, it's Ham is the black son of Noah, and um, Japheth was the white son, and Shem was the brown son. Shem is the spirit, Ham is the physical, if you look at the history of slavery, and, um, and Japheth is the intellect, and you can't go through, uh, um, you know, and the three must go together, the three must function, you have to function together. The three of them, otherwise, you know. Do you, do you believe that? Do you? Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's, and that's so true. The intellect, the physical, and the spirit, you know. And, you know, you can't do without this. The spirit is what makes it work, you know, because this is just a carcass. You can, it's just a carcass. And if you have the spirit in you, it tells you what to do. And the 12 tribes of Israel is the 12 faculties of your body. Yeah. Reuben is the oldest, it's his eyes. Levi is the, is, is the, uh, the priesthood, it's the nose. You have these faculties and you've got Simeon, he's the ears, you know, and they have, and it goes, so if you, and it goes on right to, to Benjamin, so it's the 12 faculties physically of the body <coughs> as well, as the spirit. You have these three gifts and then also like Joseph's vision, like Judah is in July, that's me. That's the only tribe that has two functions, which is the mouth and the heart. And the rest, so I do have some things here that you, if you want to print up, I bought off the uh, book down, you know, and I can give it to the um, thing of the 12 faculties of the body and of the tribes, if you like, and I've got them here, and I can give them to you. You can give them out. Mm. Um, and this is what we look like when we fly out, you know, the whole airport is just running with Israel. <laughs> That's what we used to fly out, um, you know, out of the country. And then when we used to come back in, the whole of all the Tamariki, everyone we used to come out and, and greet us. And we, you know, did that for 13 years, as you know. So we, it was like the organ was totally 
set up, and it's the same basis as the, eight of the other 17 houses throughout the world. You know, we go to their celebrations, we're flown out to leather boards, you go dress the leather, and you go dress in your colours of your leather. I mean, the um, material industry made heaps of money off us, mm, mm, heaps mm. of money, and so did the printers and everything, because we, we printed our own, you know, invitation cards, like when it was your, you know, when it was your dance and things, so we print, you know, we pr printed them, you know, ourselves, the printers loved us, just mm -hmm. absolutely loved us, you know, and we were welcome to wherever, in any area that we went, I'm talking about in New Zealand as well as internationally, but I'm only talking about New Zealand because I know I was there, and, you know, and did that, so, they made heaps of money off us and we, you know, for us to function. We had a sewing body, we had a cooking body. When we would have dances and the music, we had food. We had good food. Um, we changed a lot of, most of our people that came up from um, in New Zealand, a lot of them weren't working, a lot of them weren't, you know, weren't going anywhere. So they came from north, south, east and west of Aotearoa and came up to Auckland, you know, because they heard, you know, the words. Some of them stay, but most of them stay. And now their children most of them, you know, live in Auckland or have gone back to their hometown, but they're functioning, you know. Um, and all we, um, you know, like how to admin, how to, like, you, the welfare benefit was just, you know, and it was never, ever enough, but we taught how to budget. You know, your families come first. We taught, you know, it was food, raiment, and clothing. <coughs> that was the three keys to it as well. The free ethos from the twelve tribes of Israel. Um, yep, that's all our time. There's, these are all the ones now. All of these kids are probably now over thirty years old. So that was the second generation. Now they've got kids of their own as well in, um, in Israel, and they're all doing really, really well. Um, and yet we, we have our proud football team. We won the competitions in Auckland three times. You know, <laughs> and touch and these are um, our, our touch team. Um, that um, yeah, so that was um, really awesome in those days. And also, and our netball team. We won that twice. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, that's us coming back from Africa. <clears throat> and this is what we like after the dances are finished. We just all get in there and have a photo, and you know, after the celebrations. Okay, kia ora. Um, yes, and so that's my um, kōrero for today about 12 tribes and it's, uh, mm. so if you think about us and um, so we function the same as they do internationally because we, we go by blueprints so um, and we're the first ones to kick off the dances because we're at the side of the land and then we so we always say that we kick off the um, celebrations first there because of the time frames and then they all start kicking after us. Mm. So Tenakoto, 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 Tenakoto.